Well, while Gray was doing the first Hunter Chase meeting of the season, I'm on my way now over here for the Velka Pada Beaker. This is normally Stu's territory, but I'm going to do it this year. And um, four mile 0 to 140 handicap over a strangish course. Frozen Hope, Darren Thompson, Shimon Defay, and Tintin Final, Padre Hogan, National King, Joshua Sutherland, Place the Duchess Annex, Cherry Law Society, Graham Clitterbuck, Avon Pants for David Robertson, Ironical Harold, Graham Clitterbuck, Mama Song, James Shea, Stentorian Parade, Jim Murray, Trump, Spitfires, Matt Cooper, Window Rock, Peach, Vinnie Gerard, Penelope Pitstop, Martin Leadham, Right Destination, David Hooley, Matador, Martin Leadham, Gritar for... John Morgan, Paul Satilla, Alex Cherry, and Infatuation, Paul Parsons. 18 of the men over this unique course. Quite a few familiar names in there back from last season. Get an aerial view, a bit of an idea of what we get here. We're jumping over railings and running through ploughed fields and all sorts of stuff. And I get a feeling that if there's something that goes on at the start, if you don't get off to a proper start you can get left behind but they all appear to have got away okay there's a turn that comes up pretty quick or something where some of them get shuffled out it certainly happened a few years ago they get to the first and they're all successfully over the first and we've got a John Morgan front runner Gritar who's going to ensure a stiff test of pace and probably make it a pretty spectacular event there was a mistake at the back by Trump Spitfires I think that might be the turn there. You can see Padre Hogan's horse in the yellow. Shimon the Fay has just lost about eight lengths going around that little turn. As they get to this next one, Gritar's over in the lead. It's a huge water jump. And they all got over it okay. Must be something written into the code that says they can't fall in the water. But they never do. And Gritar is the leader. It's to this Grand National type fence. Stream over. You can see they're quite well strung out already. That's down to the nature of the course. Stentorium Parade is second. Ironical Howard is third. National King four. Then Frozen Hope Matador, the second of the Grays, as they jump that fence into the first of the ploughed fields. The grit are clear in front. The Gray Stentorium Parade is second. National King is third. As they get over the sixth, and that takes them out of the plowed field. You can see one or two mistakes at the back. Already three getting a little bit detached at the back. Pulsatilla, Shemin de Fay, and Window Rock Peach it doesn't appear to be enjoying it at all at the moment. As they head to the next, I seem to remember Formula One Follish used to be a bit of an expert at this race. They get to the seventh. I'll stream over that one. People like Formula One Follis and Molly at Surfer and Darren Owls and Co will come back. If we get to an SO8, who knows? I hope so. It's Gritter in the lead. Nice to see a good big turnout this season, though, as they head towards this little double, which has always got to be tricky because horses don't normally have to jump like that in racing. Show jumping fencing fences. But you can see they're well strung out as they come to this ditch, and Gritter landed in the lead. Quick run through and see where they all are in there. Stentorian Parade is in second. National King is third. Frozen Hope is fourth. Then comes Place the Duchess and the Grey Matador with Ironical Harold behind that one. Then a little bit of a gap to Infatuation and Tints in Final. Law Society then Trump Spitfires and Avon Pants right destination and Penelope Pit Stop. And then a gap to the back three of Chemin de Fay, Pulsatilla and finally Window Rock Peach who now seems to have caught the others up and is maybe getting more used to this strange course as they jump number 11 and back into another bit of a ploughed field but not for long back on the turf again now as you can see there's some raggedings to jump later again not something that racehorses are used to jumping over over this next one we go They're all over that one okay so everything's still on its feet Let's hope they weren't supposed to jump that one and run straight round the, round the side of it. They also have to disqualify everybody. They all go. <laughs> Gritar set in a stiff pace. He's probably eight lengths clear now. Stentorium Parade is second, then Frozen Open National King and Matador. Then Ironical Harold and Place the Duchess. Back onto a ploughed field again. And then the first set of these railings. 
which I would suggest you're not going to want to hit. And everybody seems to have got over them okay. Window Rock Peach has gone past Poxatilla. Gritter is now only five or six lengths clear of Stentorium Parade in second. You can see the crowd as they get over this next one into another ploughed field. All still on their feet, Gritter in front. First to the grey Stentorium Parade is next over another set of railings. Oh, Stentorium Parade hit that, and that's not going to have done him any good. Hitting those metal gates. Over this next one they go. That's a big water jump, and they're all safely over that one with Gritar clear. In Frozen Open National King, Stentorium Parade is next in Law Society. An ironical Harold, Matador on the inside of Place the Duchess, and a gap of a couple of lengths then back to Infatuation of Mama's Soul. Then right destination, Trance Spitfires is next as they get over another big water jump. So, Unsurprisingly clear. I must admit, when I saw John Morgan's horse go off in the lead, I expected to see a bit of carnage behind. But we haven't seen any of that. We've just seen everybody jumping okay so far as they get into this next one. This is that double again. And they're all safely over both parts. And now, for the first time, Grittar's joined by another horse, Frozen Hope. The top weight, or Darren Thompson, has come through to dispute the lead. We have National King back in third. In a Stentorium Parade and Mama's Song as they take a tiny hurdle. I'm pretty sure that's the first time they've taken that. And they've only got 10 furlongs left to race now. Frozen Hope has gone on into the lead. He's gone two lengths clear. Of Gritar in second, Stentorium Parade is in third. Then National King and Matador. He's right, this is right destination and ironical Harold after that. Mama Song and Place the Duchess. There's plenty still in with chances. They wouldn't rule anything out, really. Window Rock, Peach and Portatilla. Probably just a little bit too far behind, but they're not that far behind. As they race towards the next. It's a good job the, jockey on, the jockeys on the leaders know the way. And they get over that one. All still on their feet. Gritar and Frozen Hope from National King, Stentorium Parade, Matador, right destination getting close, they take some more railings. So they've all gone over again, Paul Tatilla now being dropped off the back, I think that one really is out of it. Now almost really lost his place, his Law Society, that's just dropped right back and was quite well placed here as they run through what may well be the final cloud field. With Gritar in front. National King second, Frozen Hope third, and Matador's moving to fourth. As they come to this next one, oh, get over that one okay again. With Gritar now really kicking on again in front. Matador the Grey is the one who's gone in pursuit of him as they race down to what is going to be the third last fence. And we've very quickly got through this race, and it's Gritar who's over in the lead from Matador who made a mistake in second. Then came Right Destination, Frozen Hope, Shaman de Fay, who lost a lot of ground at the start, has crept through from absolutely nowhere. Then comes uh, Stentorium Parade, who's still there. There's only two to jump now, and Gritar still in the lead. Gritar lands in front from in second, Right Destination. Matador now renews the challenge again in third. Then Frozen Hope and National King after that one as they race towards the final fence. Now they're in this Velka part of Beaker. And it's Gritar who's got the lead. Two and a half furlongs to go. One more fence to get over. It's Gritar in front. Pulsatil has been pulled up. Right destination is second. Matador is third. Frozen Hope back in fourth. Nothing coming out from the back. It looks like Gritar's got this race sewn up if he jumps the last. Gritar comes into the final fence then with a clear lead of four lengths to Matador in second. Up to the final fence. It's early. Gets over it nicely. Gritar's over it well. Frozen Hope starting to run on again. A couple have gone up the back but it's Gritar who's going to take the Velka Pada Beaker as they race into the final half furlong. Not quite a pillar to post victory but still a pretty impressive performance and Gritar with a name like that we know where he's heading later in the season. Gritar races up towards the run and takes it. Second is right destination. Matador might just have been third ahead of Frozen Hope. Then National King after that one all the way back to place the Duchess. Gritar ensured there was a stiff pace all the way round surrendered the lead and had a little bit of a break and then 
raced away and took it. Nothing really got close enough to put a challenge in, really. Grittar takes it for John Morgan. Right destination second for David Hooley. Matador was third for Martin Ligon. Frozen Hope was fourth for Darren Thompson. And National King for Joshua Sutherland was fifth. That's week two in the book. Now, back next week for week three. <laughs>